Hi all, and uh, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bog. Today's video is going to be just a matchbox, uh, small matchbox haul. Uh, hopefully it'll be a short video. I'm going to try to keep it at that. Uh, I found uh, two newer releases and three older ones that I bought off a, a, a local a gentleman here for a fair price. And uh, we'll take a look at those in a little while. Uh, let's start off with the uh, the 57 Dar Dodge uh, swept side pickup and you see it's a it's, uh, beautiful color on it and a nice card art and it is you know a nice model they didn't really do much front and rear but the, the sides they did a nice paint job on it it's a nice uh, a gray uh, gray box jeez I don't know how why I forgot what that's called considering I own a truck and see it's a 2020 release and nothing too spectacular on the back but it's a very nice uh, little model and they did a really nice job on it so that's pretty cool I was able to find it it, it's, it seems like the the matchbox in my area this one was bought at a different Walmart than mine it's uh, strange what you could find in what Walmart's but this one was a nice find so I'm really happy about that the next one is a super fast uh, the 2018 Range Rover uh, Vogue SE in this nice color here with the box and you can see that these are the the ones that come in this range. I was lucky enough to uh, win this one from Diecast Pirate, and it's in the background as you can see there. And this, of course, has the uh, Crown Vic, uh, the Range Rover here, is the one I have, and this one and this one, of course, I haven't seen yet, or this one. Uh, one day maybe I'll find them, but I'm not too overly concerned if I don't. See if we could see the, the 2019 release, but I think it's a really cool car, so I'm gonna get it out of the package so we could take a look at it. And it, you know, it's a typical matchbox box. You know, very nice uh, imagery on it. Nothing too spectacular. Or they don't give you any other detail other than that. So it's just a, your typical nice little collector box that they have. So I'll just scoot that one there. We could take a little closer look at the actual uh, car itself. Uh, nothing opens on it. At least I don't think so. It doesn't look like it. Oh no, it does. Hey, what do you know? Uh, the back part opens up, but it's really nice. It's once it's closed, it's very nice shut line on it. So it's hard to tell if it actually does have an opening feature or not until you look at the top part. But it does, you know, prop open shows you a bit of the interior. But it's a really nice uh, sharp color on it, uh, plastic base metal body. But it's a very nice uh, treatment all the way around as you can see you know they give you all the nice front and rear details are painted nice grill work it's a very nice color and I do like this one uh, very much so it'll be cool to uh, to put that one finally on display uh, the next three are the ones that I got uh, from a local seller and I think they're uh, really cool uh, first one is uh, the number 12, which is the Audi Avis in this nice silver. That's a plastic base, Audi Avis Quattro. You know, it's a very nice base, nice uh, silver color, give you a nice little engine details. Uh, this one is a 95 release. Uh, he gave them to me in a very good, very good price because he said the, you know, the cards, some of them are bent and, and cracked and f folded in a spot because he said something dropped on it. I go, I really don't care much about the card. 
I'm not a card collector, I'm a car collector, but you can see this one's really, really cool. So I was, I was happy to get that one. Uh, the next one is also from a super fast line is a Jaguar XJ220 in this cool, funky orange, red, bright red with black tampos on it. But the same thing, it's a 95 release. Uh, nothing too overly spectacular on it but yeah it's a sharp roll car and I do uh, do like this one very much you know it's uh, yeah it's really uh, it's really cool to see it so it's uh, it's nice because I didn't know a lot of these things uh, were around so it was great when I saw it on uh, on the local buy and sell and he had it in pictures and I said okay well I'll give you a call asked him how much he's asking he gave me a price and I said oh yep yep I'll buy it and the next one is a street streak number 62 in the series it's the same thing 95 release and it's a kind of a neat little I guess a fantasy type casting and Made in Thailand, 1995. You can see it's really cool with this kind of a, a very, very light gray or white at the bottom. Uh, maybe it just looks that way to me. And a dark purple at the top. It's a really cool looking little car. So that was neat to actually find too. So that's, uh, I guess that would be the cars that I have found. Uh, thank you very much for uh, watching. If you like this kind of content, please like, share, uh, comment. I do read your comments and I respond as much as I can and subscribe for more. Thank you and I'll see everybody in the next video.